So here I'm going to show you how to simulate a half adder and then full adder with the um, Xilinx ISE tools. So you can also use this exact same design for implementing in the digital trainer board. Um, so a half adder, just to give you a little reminder here, just consists of a AND gate and a XOR gate. Um, so the expectation is that when the two inputs are say for example 1 and 0, 1 plus 0 gives you a sum of 1 um, and no carry. But if both inputs are 1, 1, uh, you just get a carry and no sum. So 1 plus 1 equals 0 with a carry of 1. Um, so that's sort of the expected response we're looking for here. So, to start with, um, again we start with the demo zip file. Um, so this gives you a good base to start with in the project. Um, and inside this file, everything's predefined to work with uh, the digital trainer board. So extract that somewhere and maybe give it a better name if you want, Lab2 say. Um, it's best to save these to your personal drive or save them to a USB drive as needed just to uh, make sure you have a copy of them to go back if needed. Um, so once we've put that somewhere we open up the project navigator and just put this so you get it. Open the project. Um, there we go. And the first step is to edit the schematic so it doesn't matter if you're in implementation or simulation view, um, just open the schematic file. And this is the digital trainer board. You can see there's some inputs up here at the top, um, and these are this connected to the switches on the board. There's some outputs connected to the LEDs, and the other seven segment display we're not using right now. Um, so again, going back to the half adder schematic here, we just need an AND gate and XOR gate, and we'll draw that. Um, so you select a symbol and simplify it only logic gates and a two input AND gate. So plop that down. And we also want a two input XOR gate. XOR2, there we go. Um, and then use the wire tool to connect up everything. So we'll wire both inputs. Um, and again, you want each input to basically go to the input of each gate, and then the two outputs here. So the output of the AND gate, which is connected to LED 1, is the carry, and the output of the XOR gate is the sum. Um, so save that, and close it. And make sure you're in simulation mode now and you can open the simulator. So click on the top one and hit simulate behavioral model um, and it will take a second and then pop up the simulator. So the simulator here is set up as a generic input to the five input. So all five of those input switches are going to be toggled through every possible binary combination. Um, so the result is that there's going to be a few things in the display you don't need. So the first step is always zoom out so you can see more of the display um, and then you can delete the unnecessary things. So in this list here for example um, we're only using switches 1 and 2. 3, 4, 5 you can see the value changes of them but that's disconnected in our circuit so we can delete them. The 7 segment display we don't use at all um, so you can see the output is an X because it's never set to anything. Um, the rest of the LEDs, we only use the two LEDs, so LEDs 3 through 8, we can delete. Um, it will just confuse us. And the remaining signals, the clock and the reset, we're also not using right now. Um, so really, the only thing we need is those four signals. And then from this, we can generate or check the truth table. Um, so we can see the two inputs we'll call them A and B, and we can rename them if you want to create a nicer graph, so I'll rename B, and remember I said LED1 um, was the carry, 
So we'll rename that carry, and LED2 is the sum. If you forget, you can just go back to this uh, schematic to check. So when the input is 1, 0, the sum is 1, and carry is 0. Same thing for the opposite, as long as there's only a 1 and a 0 at the inputs. When both inputs are 1, we get the single carry output with no sum out output, um, and when both inputs are 0, both outputs are 0. So this is the expected behavior, so this is working. Um, now what we want to do is use the half adder to create a full adder. Um, and to do this, I'm actually going to show you as well how to create your own symbol. So we want to make a half adder symbol and use two half adders to make a full adder. So to give you a quick summary again, here's what the full adder schematic looks like. And I can annotate this. So what we have is that here is one half adder. Um, and here is the second half adder. So when we go back to the half adder schematic, again the AND gate is the carry and the XOR gate is the sum. Um, so this is the carry and this is the sum. So the AND gate is the carry, the XOR gate is the sum. And then these are just the inputs. Um, so there's A, B, and this is A and B for the second half adder. So those should extend out a bit. Um, in this case, you can sort of see we could redraw this as just two half adders like this. This is half adder, the second half adder. Um, so if we have the carry output, the sum, sum, carry, then A and B are the inputs to the full adder. Um, and we connect the sum to A. And the carry will OR with the other carry. And this becomes the carry input to the whole thing. So then as inputs we have A, B, and carry. Um, and then the two carry outputs from each half adder are connected by an OR gate. So I'll use a different color to Oops. So there's the two carries and this is the final carry. Um, and then we have the final sum is this one. So that's the schematic we want to implement. So back in the project navigator, what we want to do now is create a new source and a schematic type. Call it half adder. Um, very descriptive, I know. Finish, and it'll create your... So this is a blank schematic canvas. Um, again, we make the same half adder symbol. So logic and two. And a XOR gate. Except now we're not connecting to the input and outputs of the devices, we just want generic ports, as they call them. Um, so what we do is we make that same schematic, except instead of connecting to switches, we'll just connect to um, uh, what we'll just name them A and B and sum and carry. And that'll become a symbol schematic. So this is really useful because in later labs you'll be doing stuff like making a seven segment display driver. And um, it will save you a lot of time to be able to reuse that for other projects that you'll have to do. So to make this into a sub-circuit, there's this Add I.O. Marker option. Um, so we'll add to each of these four uh, spots, input and output ports. So you can select input and output if you want, or you can leave it as automatic. Um, I'm going to select explicitly, so make these two inputs make this one an output and we'll give them better names so if you click on it once right click and hit rename port um, you can rename this one A 
rename this one B, and as I said before, the output of the AND gate is the carry, and the XOR gate is the sum. So, oops, we right click, and we'll just name that one C, and the sum we'll just call it S, um, and save that. So now what we have to do is make a schematic or make a symbol that we can place into the other schematic. So we have this half adder schematic. Um, so you can see it there. So we'll go up to tools. Oh, you have to be in the schematic. So open your um, your other schematic. So this is the one we want to place it in. Um, and somewhere, yeah, so when you have the schematic editor open, go tools, symbol wizard, um, and hit pin name source using schematic and you actually need to have half adder schematic open so using schematic half adder um, so this will use this schematic to generate a symbol that you can then place into other schematics and you can leave the defaults all here okay the names okay and all those defaults are fine so that's what it's going to look like um, so just hit finish and there you go so you can close these all and now open um, your other schematic. So this is what we want to place it in. Um, so here's the half adder we had before. So what we can do is delete those elements and under symbols um, in the categories what you'll notice is there's another category here and this will just be your project folder. Um, so right now we just have the one symbol here called half adder and we can put that down um, and this will give you the exact same results as the previous um, circuit you made so I can actually drop it on to my schematic here um, and I'm just going to delete these and we want to do the full adder this time instead of just the half adder so we need to connect two of them together as shown here um, so the sum of one, and we'll place another one in the same way. Half adder. Um, so the inputs gain they'll be the same A and B. So this is the inputs to the whole board. And B becomes the carry input to the entire schematic. So again, going back. Um, you see that the carry output of the first half adder will be ORed with the other carry and the sum output of the first half adder goes to the A input of the second. So the sum in output we connect to the A input um, and the tools will try to auto route for you so you can just drag and drop and we need an OR gate now, a two input OR gate and then connect the two carry inputs to this and that's your full adder um, so we'll map the sum output to the first LED and we'll map the carry output to the second LED um, so this the difference between the full adder and the half adder is you have this extra third bit so this carry input um, so now we close it and we can run the simulation again. So you'll notice in the hierarchical view here that the previously you just had this one schematic. Now it's telling you this schematic is calling two others. So it's using your half adder schematic twice. And both views will show this, the implementation and simulation. Uh, so again we click on the top level test bench and let that open and let that run. So in the same fashion we can delete all the stuff we don't need and give them some better names. So LED1 was the sum output um, so I'll rename that and LED2 was the carry and you can delete the rest of the stuff that you don't need and this time we have three inputs, so we use switch one, switch two, and switch three, so you can delete four and five. Um, 
so we can start to look through everything. Um, so again, using the same methods as before, you can make your truth table if you want. So you can say when, uh, and you probably want to rename, because now we have, before we just had A and B, so you might want to name it carry in, for example, B N A N. Um, so you can go along and say, um, ignoring the first little bit, so A is 1, B is 0. The sum is 1, and the carry out 0, um, and the carry in is 0. And so while the carry in is 0, this behaves exactly like the half adder was before. Um, once the carry in is 1, that means we have a carry from the previous stage, and this is where the performance differs. So for example, if the carry in is 1 and both inputs are 0, uh, you get a sum output of 1 and carry output of 0. So you can go through and fill out the whole truth table this way. Um, for implementation, close the simulator and go to the implementation tab. Clicking on the top level one, you can just hit generate programming file and this will run through the whole um, synthesis process and give you a programming file that will be shown in another video you can use. So that's how you do a half adder and full adder and also showing you how you can create schematic symbols with the tools.